What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a little bit different type of video. We're going to be installing a plow on my girlfriend's 2023 CF Moto. Um, we're getting absolutely dumped on right now in Wisconsin with snow, um, which is why this stuff is wet because I just went and bought this plow today um, because I'm sick of shoveling. Uh, I shoveled the last two days and I just had enough of it because it takes like an hour to shovel our driveway. Like we live in town, so like we have a we don't have a crazy big driveway, but like for in town we have a good sized driveway and a lot of sidewalk, and it takes about an hour to shovel everything. And I I've just had enough of it, so I went and bought this plow. It's a coal coal pin coal coal pin plow. I don't even know how to say it. Coal pin something like that plow. I believe it's made by Polaris, from what the dealer told me. Um, very inexpensive plow. They did have ones that were about four hundred dollars for a kit, uh, about seven hundred dollar ones, and then like it just kind of went up from there. This one was nine hundred, but the only reason that it was is because I had the upgraded poly plow. Uh, I wanted the better plow, something that was a little bit stronger. That the, and the nice thing with these is the snow doesn't stick to them from from what my dad says because he swears by these plows that the snow doesn't stick to them nearly as bad. I don't know. I've never never bought a plow before, so we're gonna give it a shot. So I have everything unboxed. This is the push tube and the bracket that pivots and bolts onto the plow. And then this is the hardware kit right here, which I just I unpackaged everything already. If you're wondering, this is the Storm Chaser plow push tube kit. This is the part number for this one. It is built very, very well, um, surprisingly heavy. Uh, I think you'd have a pretty hard time bending this. You'd have to hit something pretty hard to bend this, in my opinion. And then I have the universal mount kit right here for the plow with the hardware kit that comes with that. And this is the part number for that. So I'm going to start by assembling the plow, get that all done and ready to go and set up. That way I can get all this stuff off the four-wheeler. And then we'll move on to uh, mounting the plow to the wheeler because I don't know if it has a specific spot yet or if it just you know you can kind of put it anywhere in the frame with the u-bolts plows all assembled that was very easy to do the instructions are very very uh well written and easy to understand you can honestly just look at most of the pictures and do it um pretty self-explanatory plow is actually super easy and then we'll show you more on the functions once we get it on the four-wheeler and then as for the universal brackets i ended up cutting the ends off because the cf moto there's a little like piece of angle iron that comes down and this was hitting it so then that piece of angle iron kind of comes along the back here now it misses it and then i re-drilled two holes because for the foot pegs there's bolts that were hitting this so instead of notching it out i just drilled a hole through it and we'll put it right through so then uh instead of because this they require four u-bolts for two per side um but now it'll have four u-bolts plus two or plus four bolts so should be very strong shouldn't have no problems with it moving or falling off or anything like that should be very stout along with the plow very stout so morgan can ram into things and hopefully not wreck anything but uh i'm gonna get these thrown on and i'll show you once they're on how i did it to make it make a little more sense so we'll get these thrown on and i'll show you what i did plow is on everything's ready to roll got it adjusted now these do have set, uh two different settings on where you can mount the plow which i'll show you here in a second but they say in the instructions from the back edge of the tire to where the plow mounts on the frame like where the pivot point is should be 34 inches we have ours set at what, 30, 37 um we did have it set because i have two like i said two different settings we had it set at 34 inches but the problem is when i would turn the plow all the way it would rub the tire just a little bit and i feel like when we start pushing some snow and it, the plow is angle to rub the tire so we did move it to the front hole which put it at 37 inches and it didn't make, really make a the rear light at all so you know i tried to lift on the back of the plow up and i couldn't lift it I mean, I probably could if I tried hard enough, but I mean, there was plenty of weight back there. So I think this will work. In and out, clears the tires by a lot. The Now the winch cable is now straight up and down instead of leaning back a little bit as well. So that all looks a little bit nicer. And uh, 
I think work a little bit better. Okay, so here's the two different settings, as you can see. We put it on the front hole, and uh, it seems to work a little bit better for, for our setup here. And then, as for the bracket, we have two U-bolts back here. Because that, and then there's this piece of like angle iron that goes across, which is why we had to notch it. Otherwise, it was hitting, hitting that wouldn't let it sit flush against the frame. And then we have a U-bolt right there, and then we have a bolt here that must that is for the for the steps. Um, the one that was back here, I actually had to remove because it was hitting. Um, it wouldn't allow the bracket to sit up because it would hit on this piece. And I didn't know that until I put this up. So I kind of drilled that hole for no reason. But uh, it still works. We just let the bolt out. Still has the outside one in. It hits this bracket a little bit, which is which is fine. I can't take that out because otherwise there's nothing holding this on. So that one will be fine. And then we just left that one out. But So we have two U-bolts plus a bolt per side. And then all they require is two U-bolts per side. So only place I can get the U-bolts to work as well. Um, very limited on choices on the CF Moto just because of the way their frame is designed and uh, some of the routing of some of their gussets and stuff for extra strength were kind of in the way. But uh, yeah, pretty pretty self-explanatory, pretty easy. You know, it took me a little while to do the mount. The plow went together really fast, but it took me a little while to do the mount um, being that it is a universal mount. I mean, if you probably could find one that's Made for the CF Moto might be a little easier to put on. I, I don't know if they still do a U-bolt design or how exactly they do that. And then in the morning, we'll uh, do a little plowing and show you how it works and kind of let you know uh, my opinion on it. But works pretty good otherwise. The nice thing with the CF Moto is they come with the winch pre-put pre on. It's a standard option from factory. But uh, works pretty good. And the cool part which I really like is super easy on this to angle it. It's so easy, you know, compared to some of the plows we used to have when I was younger on like our John Deere Gator, it was a little bit more of a pain in the butt to angle it. And you can super fast hop off, angle it, straighten it out, flip it back and boom, you're going again. So I really like that too. And then with this plow, you can lift it pretty high. Oh, I can go ways yet. That's as high as I'm going to lift it. But there still is probably half inch or so that I could lift. You know, I got a little bit of room up here yet. Which, in my opinion, that's pretty high. That's 10, 10 inches of clearance. More than enough. So, we are going to get this all ready to go. And uh, we'll see you guys in the morning. Winter plowing some snow, see how it works. Well, it's morning. We got a decent amount of snow. Hollow is just having a blast. And the snow definitely got a little harder. It's a lot more crunchy and stuff now. Um, so I'm really curious to see how the four wheeler is going to end up pushing all this snow because it's a lot crustier this morning than it was last night. It was pretty fluffy last night. But we gotta move vehicles, get, move vehicles out of the driveway, and then we'll pull the four wheeler out and see how she does.
driveway is all plowed work great this plow was worth every penny it took us about a half hour to do the whole driveway but i mean i did a little more than i probably needed to uh, i was just kind of having a lot of fun plowing so you know i i clear a little more than i probably needed to but if i can bust right through that snow no problem i was able to push our snow banks back push the snow down in our ditch because we had a uh, plow guy always goes way out too far onto the road and like gets like two feet from our mailbox and then the fucking city complains because they can't reach our mailbox because the plow guy doesn't get near our mailbox he's like swings he misses like two feet of the road it's annoying so i was able to push all that back and uh yeah plow worked great folded when it would catch the concrete because you know like i said our concrete's kind of uneven in a few spots um mainly with the sidewalk it goes across our driveway that it drops down when the sidewalk is the sidewalk is actually sunk down in uh but yeah it worked great i mean i was able to turn the blade a few times as you guys seen like i said worth every penny my only complaint was actually with the four-wheeler um it gets stuck in gear once in a while especially when you're up against the snow bank it's sometimes hard to get it out of uh low to get it down into to reverse so that's my only complaint with the uh, whole thing otherwise it went super smooth super easy worth every penny but i'm gonna end today's video here make sure you guys like comment subscribe i know it's a little bit different type of video not everybody's gonna like it but we'll we get back on the car stuff here soon ish the only downfall is the block for my uh fox body uh, i gotta take it this week to get machine and he's still like a month out um i called a couple of machine shots everybody's out about a month so that kind of sucks so i won't be putting that back together for a while yet but like i said make sure you guys like comment subscribe catch you guys later